What is up here? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Delta Rune Blind. In the last episode, we escaped from prison thanks to Lancer and our uh, our good pal Susie. And in this episode, we're gonna see what lies behind this door. So, oh, it's uh, an elevator, I think. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I guess so. Oh, they call it a lift. My bad. My bad. All right, this lift should take us out of here. Now, it might take a while, so... Get comfy, everyone! <laughs> Wait, why does... Why does Ralph say no that it's gonna take a while? Hey, Ralph say. You know Lancer's dad? The king? Yes? When we meet him, you think we'll have to... Hurt him? Susie? I mean, I could easily smash him, but... You guys, I know that's not really your thing. You're more about, uh, groveling like total losers. I guess that's one way to put it. And I was thinking, maybe... I could... do that too? Susie? You mean you want to try acting? Uh, well... Susie, we'd be happy if you acted with us. And don't worry, we'll be there to help you. You won't have to figure it out by yourself. Sure. Alright. Woo! Look at this character development! Susie actually cares about Lancer and Lancer's dad and is willing to act with kindness to avoid hurting him. Hey, Ralsei? Susie? Are you still gonna make those, uh, cakes? Well, will you stop making fun of me? Well, if I have to, I guess. Then I'll bake you as many as you like, alright? Yeah, like you can make that many, dude. Oh, such a touching little elevator sequence. Or, ahem, <clears throat> lift sequence. Well, this is our stop. Ralph says, very familiar, it seems. Hey, Chris, wait a sec. You know, I'm starting to realize. It'll be easier for us to get out of here if we all, uh, get along a little more. So, next time we fight an enemy, if you tell me what to do, I'll listen to you. Really? Really now? Hmm, I don't know if I trust it 100%. But, you know, don't tell me anything stupid, or I'll go back to smashing heads, alright? Interesting. Chris, I'm counting on you, okay? Aw, that's sweet. Susie, join the party for real. No, no, no crazy fanfare or anything, just a little chime. Alright, well, we'll save. And, let's see. Elevator to prison. They call an elevator here, but Ralse calls it a lift. Ralse, where are you from? Formerly known as elevator to basement, which just happened to have a lot of cages. Basement which happened to have a lot of cages. Oh my. Well, hello there. Who about you? <laughs> Running Rangers came sparkling into view. Okay, so... The first thing I'm going to want to do is... Oh, can we not warn? Oh, we, we, we can't even warn anymore. Interesting. So we'll try convincing the, the ranger. And Susie takes the, occupies the middle part of the party. Interesting. So Susie has magic. Rude buster. Rude damage. Huh. And... Not a whole lot more. So we'll have... Or defend, and I guess we'll say we'll do the same. Defending automatically increases the TP. Interesting. You try to explain why fighting is bad, but Rune Ranger just became tired. Okay, enough. You can't convince me. Long live the king. All right. Whoa. Um, ah, so they have different speeds: medium and then fast. Oh no, there doesn't seem to be too much of a order. I guess Rune Ranger pledges allegiance. That's something I have a little bit of a, you know. A, I don't feel too hot about with, when it comes to American schools. The Pledge of Allegiance. So, that Run Ranger is tired. Let's see if Susie and I can complement this one and see how that happens. And then Ralsei can use the Pacify Magic on this first one. You told Susie to compliment the enemy. Uh, are you serious? What good can I say about someone trying to kill us? Aw, oh, Susie. If you're stuck, why not try? Saying something you wish someone would say to you. You are unbanned from free ham sandwich day. <laughs> Ralsei has pacified. The king never said that to me before. That's actually really funny. Oh, I ran right into that one. 
I gotta be ready for those uh, faster moving ones. Wow, Rase is almost dead. Um, Rune Ranger puts a power limiter on its feelings. We can spare it now? Interesting. Very interesting. I think none of these guys have a spell that can do anything, so it's not like I can really... I could use Heal Prayer on myself, but um, it's just not going to happen because it'll get spared beforehand, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Okay, so we can keep going to left. There's a little bit, a little bit Labyrinth-like. So I'm afraid of missing out on something. Did we just walk out? We just walked out, guys. My bad. And now this enemy's back. Well, we can avoid it for the time being. And heal up again, just because that's all here. Let's try going up this room. And see what's over here. Elevator to top floor. Currently stuck at the top floor until someone rides it down. I see. So this is our way down after the battle at the very top. But it won't be a way of getting up there, unfortunately. So here's the diamond room, it seems. Ruddin's room. Yes, that's a door. Let's take a look. Hello, Ruddin. We sold all of our beds to replace them with treasure. My back hurts, but life has never been better. <laughs> Wait, is this supposed to be the other way around? You use the treasure to improve your life. Hey, it's you. You're that peaceful lightener. Whoa, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Beast? What beast? Oh, you even taught the beast to talk? Here, have a Choco Diamond! You got the Choco Diamond, that's really funny. Normal everyday riches acquired from a legitimate source. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. Also, oh man, hang, hang on one second, guys. Okay, let's resume. What's got, what do we have here? It looks like a family photograph. <laughs> it's just a diamond. That's too funny. Okay. Oh, wasn't there something about the, the order of the rooms from like bottom to top? So there's the diamond room on the this floor. Let's see what's going on up here. Anything over this way? Ooh, a treasure chest. You open the treasure chest. Inside was club sandwich. I see, but you were carrying too many items. So... The sandwich is probably more important to have. So what are we going to toss is the question. It's quite small, but some people really like it. The Lancer cookie, maybe it heals 5 HP. The Dark Candy heals 40 HP. That's that's a lot. Hearts Donut, Choco Diamond, Lancer cookie, Top Cake. 160 HP to the team. Wow. Um, we have a Revivement. What about the Manual? A Glow Shard? I don't know. And there's got to be some use to a lot of these things, right? I feel like I can get rid of one of the Choco Diamonds. We can toss it or use it or... We can, I guess, technically use it. Even though it'll have no use per se. Let's see if what happens if we use it on Chris. Plus 80. Okay, so I guess in reality the Dark Candy is what we should be getting rid of. Dang. I guess 40 sounds like a lot to me because I'm used to Undertale's HP stats. You open the treasure chest. Inside was Club's Sandwich. You put we put in our items. So now there's the, uh, the spade room. Castle bathroom. Royal flush. <laughs> That's really funny. Currently occupied. I see. The royal flush. Oh, I almost ran right into that. Would have been less than ideal. What do we have over here? I'm tempted to check out what's up top before we go down there. Ooh, spikes. So it looks like we won't be going there anytime soon. Over to the right, what do we have? I've been baited. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Who's there? Ah ha ha ha. Thou's fools. Who are you? I am Rauxel's card. Thou were the great, thou were, <laughs> thou were greatest adversary. Oh man, um, thou may have clodsed past all the house otherest conundrums, but thou's were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thou self for the strongest puzzle of thou's life. Is this diamond or something? Toil worms. Is this really? Is this really what I think it is? 
God darn it. Uh, okay. That's, that's pretty funny. Okay, I guess. Um, we'll, we'll head over... Oh, we can probably go up the, uh, this way now. Yeah, okay. Ooh, these are what, Thannies? Is that what they're called? Hathies. Head Hathie blocked the way quiet. Blocked the way quietly. Why is that relevant? So, let's try flirting, um, with Susie as well. And let's see, for Ralsei's case, defend, I guess. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. And heck no. Aw, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up! That's not the problem! Are, are you sure? Alright, look, wise guy, I'll show you, watch this! Ahem! <laughs> oh boy, how is Susie gonna flirt? So, uh... Come here... often? <laughs> I'd have you felt awkward and left. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, get back here and let me flirt with you! <laughs> oh my goodness, they have broken hearts, I feel like they're gonna... lead for an in intense attack as a result. So you just gotta figure out where they're centering the, the hearts on. Whispered something unhearable, okay? Let's try flirting as just, uh, as just Chris. And we can have Susie defend, and we can have Ralsei for the sake of it, I guess spare the head happy in case it works. We flirted with head happy, it was highly effective. Ralsei spared head happy. Okay, cool, that works. Um, which way are you going? Oh, diagonal. Oh, I should have had, um, Susie try to spare, and then Ralsei heal. That's okay. Um, for now, for now, I'm curious. Let's let's check and see what that is, and then we can have just Susie defend. Ralsei can use the magic to heal Chris as well. Cool. It learned to hide its feelings. Is that strength? I wouldn't say so. Okay. Usual attack. All right. We got a little bit of TP. It's fine. It smells like a lonely kiss. Aw. So we'll flirt, and then Susie can defend. Or wait, Susie can spare. Might as well spare. I wonder if it'll work. You flirted with that happy. It was highly effective. Susie spared that happy. You won. We got 91 dark money. So that's pretty cool. What's down this way? Anything? Nope. So let's head over here then. So that's another way up. I'm a little bit hesitant to move to a new floor, though, without checking to see if there's something else on this particular floor. The heart room. So there was the diamond room, and then the royal flush. I don't know if that's going to count as the spade room, but this is the, the heart room. Looks like Happy sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. <laughs> that's really funny. I wonder who they sold them to. Looks extremely well slept. Happy looked at you kindly. Your sins against Happy were forgiven. Fair enough. Looks like a bed. Will you rest here? No, you won't. It's not your bed. How about this one, though? Looks like a bed. Will you rest here? No, you won't. Okay. I'll, um, I'll leave it at that, then. That's pretty funny. And now we've got to deal with the Hathies again. I wonder if there's any way we can actually get through this without being seen. Oh, there is, it seems. Can hide in the corners playing uh, Metal Gear Delta Rune. We got these things. So it was what? Diamond and then heart. Well, Royal Flush and then heart. Okay, so then clubs. And I'd imagine the last room will be the, uh, the spade, which is where we're going to have our showdown. Am I supposed to do something with these? I am. At least that's what it seems like. Am I supposed to just try all of them? Is that is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I'll give it a go. See what happens, right? <laughs> what was that sound effect? Is that a good sound effect or a bad sound effect? Looks like we can go over there. Did the spikes go away? No, they didn't. But oh, did that was that treasure chest there before? I don't think it was. So maybe that's what we ended up doing. It's pretty funny. Alright, well we'll head over here. And again, trying to remember it was diamond, and then heart, and then clubs. And, oh man, I wonder if we're gonna get baited into a trap again. Oh my goodness, look what happened, it's a, it's a trap! 
I love the music that shows up. Those guys really think that was all I had? Wrong! It's time for you to feel my real power. Behold, my ultimate puzzle. <laughs> Have at you. <laughs> okay. I feel like one time there's gonna actually be a puzzle. Ah. Aha! Ha ha ha! Gullible worms! That wasn't... That wasn't just really my ultimate puzzle. I have a waste better one right here. <laughs> can, can can we see it? No. <laughs> oh man, that's that's pretty funny. The characters, the dialogue, as usual, living up to the, the hype. You opened the treasure chest. Inside was revivement. But you were carrying too many items. Darn. We're I guess we'll get rid of one of the dark candies. Let's see what happens when we use it. Anybody need it? No. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything in particular being you or like any interesting events that occur, unlike the ramen from Undertale. So we'll take the revive, man. I feel like that'll be more useful. So then what's going on in the club? <laughs> Please tell me that they actually made use of that pun. It's a boombox. It's playing club's music. Hathi is the second party member. It's the healer. <laughs> she was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake she commissioned was destroyed in a field somewhere. Can we, can we give it to her? That's a risk that one always runs when ordering a cake. Can we not hand her? Aww. That'd be cool if you do like a little side quest or something. It's a tree! For parties. Oh. Okay. It's a giant baseball. For parties. <laughs> okay. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Ha! Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs! Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? Then we can all play Twister! Just stay out of our way! We lose even by ourselves! <laughs> That's right. These guys, um... They like to eat... Sports items. I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS. Dance and party soundtrack! That's really funny. It's a bed for three people. Or one three-headed person. <laughs> That's funny. So this is... Welcome to the club. And again! Diamond! Heart! Club! And... Presumably, the final... Spade room is gonna be our, our boss room. We have there's a gift shop. Oh my god! <laughs> the music and then that pose. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Let's see here. I am the Duke of Puzzles, Roxel Card. My I'm pretty sure it's like Rusel Card or something like that. It sounds very French. My hobbies include is calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Artist now one of my admirers, worm. Why sell to us? Ha ha ha! So I might amass of funds, worms, an army of funds, so that I may crush us thou like fermented grapes into a most delicious and adult beverage. Vengeance! <laughs> oh how I amuse myself. That's really funny. Our Lord King art a cruel and terrifying monarchy. Or monarch. However, he is also brilliant, for he decided <laughs> he decided is stiff. To appoints to me as Duke of Puzzles. After pretty much if everyone else was fiertest or placed inside of a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. That's really funny. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst queries and calleth me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, you little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wisheth to hear your MP3s. I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he, anyhow? <laughs> That's really funny. Alright, let's see, what, what do you have? What is this? Ruzel Ru? Item Fragrant Sauce heals 50 HP. A Brave Axe Weapon. Heroic and cool. A Dainty Scarf. Weapon. Homemade Healing Up. That would be good for Ralse. We should, we should buy that. Thanks, Worm. Um... And then, this could be for everyone. A Defensive Charm. So it'll boost... Ralsei and Susie's stuff, but won't really help with uh, Chris. Although, Ralsei already has one, right? So we'll buy one for now and see what we can do with that. See thou in the dungeon, worms. <laughs> what a funny character. Alright, so let's see what we can do equipping-wise. We'll start off with Chris. I think we're, we're good in this regard, right? Nothing I have that I can equip will help out him. So, let's see. Susie, we can definitely... Oh, wait, wrong button. Susie, both of these will be helpful, so we can do that, and that'll help out with the defense. And then on this end, another amber card I think would be helpful. 
and that way we've used everything, right? I could get... Oh, did I not give the Amber card to, uh, to Susie? Regardless, this will reduce attack, but increase fluffiness in magic. So I think we'll go with that. Right? Because it's not like we really need boosted attack or anything like that. And then similarly, we don't have any axes to give to Susie. And do we have any wood blades or anything like that? No, we don't. Okay. So we can maybe give another amber card to Susie. I think that'll be the next thing we do. It's only 100. So I'm not too worried about it. And we have plenty of money. And then we can also sell some things now, too. Let's... I don't want to sell... I can sell some of the dark candy. Because it seems like we're getting more items that are better. The revivements are really important, it seems. Weapons, the red scarf, we don't really need. Same with the ragger, but for the sake of not getting rid of too much. Um, the amber card we want. Alright. We should be good, then. Let's equip the Amber card, boost that defense a bit, and I think we're good. Let's save again, just so I don't have to go through all of that the next time if I potentially do screw up. There's the elevator. There's... okay. Um, a way up. Let's see here. This is the spade room. Is this Lancer's room? A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. Aw, yeah, this has got to be Lancer's room. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not useful currency here. <laughs> it's a hole, presumably dug for fun. There's salsa buried in the ground here, okay. It's a music player, listen to the contents? Absolutely. It's full of cartoon splat noises. That's actually really funny. Anything happen? No? Okay. Alright. So that's clearly um, Lancer's room. So again, it was Diamond Heart Club Spade. Diamond Heart Club Spade. And let's activate this elevator for the sake of activating it. Right? Ride the elevator? Absolutely. That was really quick. Here we are. Okay, now we can just come back up, right? Ride the elevator? Yes. Wow, so much quicker than the first time around. I don't know what was going on. And again, one last time saving before we head up to presumably the throne room, I'd imagine. Here we go. Enough, worms. Oh, it's it's this guy again. Thou may have thou may have cheated through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepareth for battle with one of these guys again. Whatever this is, huh? It's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. Yes, with my control crown. I must control any disc-shaped life form. <laughs> oh no! It looks like it's in pain! It looks the same! <laughs> yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel it relief. When it sees how much more pain that will be in. Alright, <laughs> here it comes again. So, if I recall correctly, Susie's idea... Interesting, what's Susie's idea? Susie, you wanna act? Aw, oh, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie, I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Hey, Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Ralsei at it. <laughs> what a strategy, what a strategy. Press C to determine the angle, okay. That should be, oh, wait, what? Oh, I thought I was just aiming. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna work. I mean, so we'll do that. The crown loosened a little. <sighs> That's pretty funny. Okay, well, now I've got a decent idea of what I'm working with, I guess. Wait, I took damage? Interesting. I thought I was close enough that I wasn't uh, taking damage and just getting TP, but I guess I was off. I'm not aware of whatever it may be. So let's try throwing again. We'll go up a little bit more this time. Gotta choose the angle with C. Oh, that still wasn't enough. Darn. Um, so the crown loosened a little bit again. And this time around... Oh. Um, 
kicking these little stars at us. Ground is 40% loose. We'll try again. Let's get a much higher angle this time around. Something like that, nice. And then C will determine the power. The crown greatly loosened. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was surprising. The crown is 75% loose. So we loosened up 35% there. So if we get another hit, we'll um we'll be in the clear, I think. So let's give that a go. I'm not too worried about dying this turn, so we should be alright. Cool, the crown greatly loosened. That should be loose enough. Perfect. <laughs> you won. Got zero EXP and eight dark money. Why, brilliant. Just brilliant. I knew you could do it. Thou great heroes, thou. The the whole throwing mechanic reminds me of the bros moves from Mario, Super Mario uh, Superstar Saga. Thou seeth. That was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. <laughs> no kidding. Luck be with you, heroes. Well, uh, th thanks for the positive words, I guess. We can go back this way and heal up, at the very least, which will be nice. I wonder if that was actually supposed to be somewhat of a, a boss battle, or if it was just kind of like a mini-boss precursor to, you know, the entree coming up, which is actually the king. Can we talk with you? Its previously violent expression has turned to kindness. It will now live a peaceful life. Aw, happy to hear that. Whoa. Is this like King Spade? Yo, this is so cool. The throne. The throne? It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Interesting. And these are all the treasures. Riches. They shine with avarice. Riches. They shine with avarice. Wow, the designs are super cool. Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. So it seems. With who, though? I'm sure we're going to find out soon enough. In the... Just kidding, guys. <laughs> hey, there's Lancer. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? N no, but... I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you, and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie. She's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Well, right here, conveniently. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Uh-oh. This doesn't look well for, uh, or look good for Lancer. Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. Uh, no, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. Ooh, Susie's got the axe ready to, ready to act. Ha 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 ha. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? D don't listen to him, Susie. Hold. Hold. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners? Wh what the? You. You traitor, come back here! Yo, Lancer! Alright, enough already! Who the heck do you think you are? Yo, this is so hype! Channeling your inner Kamino Suzy, I see it, I see it. <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I'm the bad guy. Whoa, what a cool design! King blocked the path. So again, we'll, we'll try talking. I guess we'll first off check, and then we can have everyone else defend and play it from there. Abandoned by the Lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. How dare you come here, Lightners. Okay, so we got these, these spades flying through. Darkness pours from the fountain. So we'll try talking, and then again we'll have everyone else defend. You tried to reason with the king. 
Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the Knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. Ooh. You, that left us in the shadows stripped of meaning. Whoa. Ooh. That's pretty neat. That was a pretty cool attack. Again, I, I love it, right? To Toby Fox just uh, takes traditional battle mechanics and manages to switch them up when you least expect it. Right, Undertale did such a great job of merging different types of combat and different types of like platforming and avoiding things and puzzles and figuring out enemy attacks and then mo manipulating the battlefield in the way projectiles work to make it even like a rhythm game at times. And here again, it's more, you know, just traditional party-based RPG type tactics, but with that area of movement, and then, oh, man, just, wow. <laughs> King's Mouth, King's Mouths gave a uh, berserk smile. So we're doing alright on HP for the most part. Talk became Courage, a defense boost in 25%, cost 25% TP. I want to see what Susie says um, when she talks, though, and we'll have Ralph say defend again. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. Interesting, you dare return to torment us once again? Oh, interesting. But they, uh, the tracks, like, linger a bit. The King's Mouths babble indecipherably. So I'm interested to have... What does Red Buster do? Red damage. 60% TP. Red damage? What is red damage? I don't know. We're, we're gonna have... We'll have, uh... There's rude damage, there's red damage. I'm, I'm a little bit curious. I'm curious. Or else they try to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but... This is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivete. Now, perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Ralsei's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Interesting. Be gone, we have found fresh purpose. Oh, it looks like we're moving. Oh, I see. This is like the screensaver from the old Windows computers, guys. The battlefield is rumbling, I see. So we'll have, I guess you can use Courage, and then Susie can use Defend, and we'll have, I don't know, you can use Heal Prayer, I guess, on Chris. Sounds good to me. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Or else I cast Heal Prayer, for the knight has appeared. Okay. 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 Nice. King's Mouths gave a berserk smile. And again, um, heals everyone. It requires 50% TP. We're probably fine for the most part. I'm I'm curious to see what Red Buster does. I don't want to do damage though. That's the thing. I really don't want to. This red damage? What, what is red damage? I mean, he's obviously blue, so it's probably some sort of counteract. I can no longer talk with them, so I guess all I can think of is we'll, we'll do that and see if that works. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie used Red Buster. Whoa. That looks strong. The knight that pulls the fountain from the earth. Whoa. Oh man, I didn't move quite enough. That was pretty neat as well. I also, I think I'm accidentally hitting page down on my keyboard, and that's why that little beep shows up every now and then. Sorry about that. So, we won't do the Red Buster anymore. Um, all I could think of is just checking, or defending more and more, and um, continuing to do that. We'll have Ralse use Heal Prayer on himself. But otherwise, we'll just try and, you know, survive. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. You can see that the, the frequency of these is much higher than it was before. So. Darkness pours from the fountain. 
I wish one one little quality of life thing I think that would be helpful would be to remember what the previous action was on this menu and then to continue doing that. So I could just click, for example, defend, defend, defend. Haha, <laughs> do you see now our new purpose? Oh no, it's the screensaver attack. Any of you guys like wait patiently for it to get like perfectly in the corner or something like that? I um Again, I'm not a huge fan of the, the D-pad on the, the keyboard, but it, it's fine enough, right? We're at max TP, and Ralse can just heal anyone that actually needs it, so we're, we're doing fine. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it! I don't know about that. The battlefield is rumbling. And we're at near full health, so we're fine. Then, you may see what it is like to live in despair. <laughs> Hold up a second, King Spade. Have you seen my playthrough of Danganronpa? I am fully familiar with the concept of despair. Oh, this is moving faster, it seems. Nice. King's mouths babble indecipherably. We'll continue to defend. Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, I see. Ooh, that's really cool. I like this attack. That was so neat. Oh man, I love I love the combat in this game. We'll continue to defend. We didn't take too much damage from that. Huh, you're quite strong, aren't you? That we are. Oh, oh that's right, there's the the chain that at the end. I guess for now, we can use dual heal. Um, that uses a lot, but I mean, when we defend, we'll be fine. Your soul shined its power on Ralsei. I love the animation of Ralsei casting a spell. Cool, so we're all at full health. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Ah, oh, I continued on too much. Darkness pours from the fountain. That it does. It seems that... It seems that what? What does it seem, King Spade? Aw, oh, man, I hit it. Darn it. Sorry, because we're at TP Max again, so I can just use Dual Heal and we'll be fine. My knight! I shall not fail you! I love in sort of like these sorts of like bullet hell type segments. It's just like minimal movement, as little movement as possible. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I've grown exhausted from our long battle. Off comes the cape. Lightners, I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkners and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. The question is, are we being deceived? Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds... lovely. Cough. My... my apologies, I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Ralsei heals him up. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? L let's see. I knew it was gonna be the case. We got trapped. Never better. You... Did I say you could get up? Hey, Chris coming in with that shield! Chris! Dang. Oh, spare me the heroics. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You... You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say... Young one, 
Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people, piss me off. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? Susie in rage mode. Ultra instinct Susie. <laughs> you stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. <laughs> Lancer, uh, everyone. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. <laughs> when I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the Dad. <laughs> you idiots, the Lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. <laughs> Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. <laughs> hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You all right, Chris? Chris, Susie, oh, you're all right. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost, we almost. Susie, you were right, I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. Whoa, Susie. Susie looking awfully philosophical here. Aw, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Hey, don't get used to it. Then, I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Huh? What? Excuse me? Are we... Are we really heading home now? Hey, Chris. W wait a second. Um, I... Look, I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but, you know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. Yeah, let's go back. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Huh? What? Chris, Susie, you came back. Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And, thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Best, you are the best! Honestly, we owe you. Even a little ball can say something like, thank you. Thank you, I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sean to come here, but there wasn't any interest. You're absolutely amazing. Be great, work. Great, great work, I guess. Darn, Horsey, you've done us a big help. Now, all of us pieces can live in pieces. You did it! You ousted that rotten tyrant! I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing! And of course, wonderful work, mine amigos. <laughs> Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freed Star Creedst. Truly, history shall not forget. The tale of Ruxelkard and the three heroes! Of course, you gotta throw yourself in there. I knew you could do it! Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you! That's how much I disliked my job! <laughs> It's too funny. Need some water. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. What? What? <laughs> I gave him so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B-Day, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Hathi looked at you proudly. Kiss. Aw. What's going on? I slept through everything. Oh, man. This place looks awfully colorful. What ho! What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on, then. <laughs> What's going on over here? 
us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Oh, it's Top Chef. Mama Mima, what a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. <laughs> How helpful. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think we'll be fine. Aww. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along! I thought you were going home, home ways. But you weren't, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Oh, that's funny! I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Um, so, you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Aww. <laughs> because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. That's really funny. Aw, oh, but we can't go past here. Can we not? Aw, oh, man, I want to go back and see what was behind the the puzzle that required knowing which rooms, you know, the order was. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> it's alright, I guess. Wow, so are we, like, really at the end right now? Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Heck, if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Looks like it. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? Can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> I knew it! Um, Chris, Susie, I, I knew that amongst all the darkness and everything, she looked like a, like a fluffy Toriel. Uh, or goat, rather. <laughs> I hope I can see you again soon. Uh, Next time we'll make you lots of yummy cakes. Alright? <laughs> Susie, look at Susie's sprite. I love it. Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Aww. All right, off we go. Whoa. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? I guess so. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Whoa, what, what, what's going on, guys? What is this? Huh? Interesting, the program name changed to the dark. And now it disappeared. What, what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Huh? Huh? So they're they're in the closet now, and obviously there are all the chess pieces and then the diamonds and the cards and everything, which clearly inspired. And is that <laughs> on the closet? The the picture on the right that has like the green figure or something like that. That looks like the painting that Squidward did. It's called Bronze and Brash. <laughs> huh? The unused classroom. How would we get here? Hey, Chris, what what just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Elphys we couldn't find any chalk. 
Huh? That's so weird. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Anything else of interest in here? It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. Oh, it's a turtle. It's signed, Alvin. It's a light switch. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Elphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? I'd imagine they'd be really concerned about us disappearing for so long. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Huh. Aw, oh, it's so nice to see Susie come around and, you know, have acknowledged and enjoyed that time. Can I go back now? The door is locked. And this is the classroom, right? The door is locked. Alright, looks like we have nowhere else to go. Was this our classroom? Looks like it. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Felt? Is that gonna change? You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Anything of interest over here? Miss Toriel. <gasps> Miss Toriel is written on in cursive on the dry erase board. Aw, seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Aw, it's a computer. It's desktop wallpaper as you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. So cute. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. What do we have in the corner here? The throne of the gods. <laughs> All the chairs stacked up. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and these are drawings. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Well, I guess... I guess we'll head out then. Ring, ring. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with... a friend? Oh, Toriel's so precious, guys. Chris, I'll make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Oh, so precious. Alright, well, I guess... I guess we'll walk on home. There's the library. Oh, we can go in it. Man, this is... <sighs> Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. <laughs> How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. Kiss the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. <laughs> Gotta go to college, so Tem Stubby. Hard! She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. What? There's an anime review. Read it? No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Teens Corner, monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. But the darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Deans and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow lizard. Anonymous, super anonymous. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really... Read them! I, I bet we're not going to be able to. That's actually hilarious. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. <laughs> oh, okay? What do we have going on over here? Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! <laughs> She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. 
Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. <sighs> Just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Um... Aw, uh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. <laughs> Wait, do we do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank! <laughs> That's funny, you got something to report? Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha, if I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. <laughs> oh man, poor Alphys, they're as good as dead. Okay. What, there's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. What's a job for the school board? That's a job for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. So there's a hospital. What's up this way? Man, we're really allowed to. Oh, it's Sans! Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again, or who the heck are you? Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Wink. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Um, my teacher or my mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. <laughs> Sans. <laughs> she's great. Gave the store to my chocolate kisses. <laughs> Said she's got a locker door to stop you from eating them. You sound like a fun kid, huh? Oh my god, Sans, you are hilarious. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What uh, What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. That's hilarious. And they live here in Mitt. There's so much to explore. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant trousel of bones. <laughs> Love it. What about over here? Man, where are we going? This is a huge map we haven't had the chance to explore yet. You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. If I skip class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. Yo, Chris. You survived Susie. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid, and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Sure, that went over well. Then, Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. No, she doesn't. Anything in your- Oi, Snowy! What did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know? It's <laughs> really funny. What about over here? Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. <laughs> okay. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Does it hurt to be made of blood? What a, what a question. What a thought. And then we've got QC's Diner. And who in the world are you? Ice me up, ice me up, boss. Icy's peas, uh, oh, these guys. Oh God, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza, except they're ice blocks, right? Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. <gasps> Little buddy, it's me. <laughs> Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's pizza is hell. <laughs> I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. <laughs> yes, there is, you just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where as he is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Oh my god, so funny. Would you be interested in trying one of our many 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, Ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Icy's Pizza. <laughs> all right, let's let's see what all the crave or all the rave is. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume, but we can't even get in for all the you know advertising they're doing. You're alive. 
Nice. I'm working. <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Uh, we'll take the special. And do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <laughs> That's really funny. Hey there, I haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember, back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen, and then... Y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at that table in the corner, and draw in shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Aw. Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate on the house, hon. That's really cute. There's still obviously a lot of backstory going on here that I need to figure out with how this relates to our brother, right? Um, we're obviously the, the child of, you know, Toriel and Asgore, and we know about, you know, the kid, the fallen kid from the previous game and everything. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. <laughs> That's why it's so tall. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? <laughs> I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up, too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Ain't that the truth. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so that's the diner. Let's go, let's go to the hospital. Oh my. A little bit intimidating for a nurse. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. <laughs> it's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's office. Yo, ain't that the truth. The beads march grimly along their set path. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. <laughs> play it? Sure. Can we, even, can we go in here? We can. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noelle, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. D Dad? Aw, you should bring it here. I'm bored. Aw, what a, what a positive twist. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. <laughs> Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick him. <laughs> I'll kick his butt. Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Aw, oh, that was really sweet. Oh, hi, Chris. <laughs> that was a really sweet interaction. Oh, so you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris, be a little friendlier. Oh, my, my bad, I guess. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. Proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. And now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. This guy's really funny. Okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? Um, sure, let's talk about Noelle. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Aww. This is really, this is really cute. There's no way you can bore me right now. Talk about the illness, I guess. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing Holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> That's really funny. Man, this this world is flashing out so much at the end. Here I am thinking like, oh man, we'll say goodbye to everyone and then we'll wrap things up in over an hour of recording later. <laughs> Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Asriel's off to college, 
You think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, oof, she'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. That's really funny. Oh, Toriel, it's a get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? <laughs> That's hilarious. Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? It's really funny. Let's see who's over here. Oh, it's one of these guys. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale, using Ice E as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. <laughs> you looked inside the cupboard. Very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. It's a regular sink. That's funny. What do we have here? It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Anything to the left of the hospital? The police station! Anything to the left of that? No. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the police station. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. <laughs> I guess... I guess point taken. Point taken. What if we go down here? Oh my goodness, there's so much to explore. This is... And now there's stuff over here too. This is gonna be such a long episode. I'm, I'm gonna take a break, guys. I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a minute because I I need to go eat. All right, I just restored my own HP. <laughs> uh, let's let's head on over this way. What is going on here? Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mudler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. I'm intrigued. There's got to be something more to this that I'm just not aware of. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here, if anyone asks. You're writing. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll leave. For now. Let's see what's going on over here. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please, speak. Fruit juice? <laughs> Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. That's you funny, referring to the, the wine served at communion, potentially. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participate in any extent, <laughs> instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Oh, we can keep going down here? This is a long path. What is this? It's locked. I bet that this is like some door to the... the underground or something. Man, I have so many questions! I have so many questions! So here's the town hall. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. <laughs> oh, we got the hand here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Fitting, I guess. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? <clears throat> That's too many candies to you. Lost your frisbee in the wash? What? <laughs> hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Can I not get past? Doesn't seem so. On Fort. Alright, so... We've checked out to the left. We've checked out down there. We've checked out to the right. We've gone up here, and we've gone to the left. And we've gone to the right. I'll explore some of these more more dialogue options with Sans. Um, friends, we just moved here, yada yada yada. Um, how about my teacher? Alphys, yeah. I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. <laughs> she opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. That's hilarious. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. That's really funny. And then lastly... 
Me. Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. <laughs> Call it whatever whatever you feel like. You got Sans number. Aw. Oh. Aw oh, yes, getting some digits. Also, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Grillby's, but with the apostrophe at the end, they just like scratched everything out and uh, take the S and make it Sans written in there. That's really funny. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. That's hilarious. And then leave? Oh, you've got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. <laughs> this game. This game, this dialogue, these characters. So excellent. And man, now we've got so much more to explore up here too. Oh, hi Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again and... Sorry Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Aw, so nice. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Anything, Susie, Key? Susie! That's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Eats chalk, she's nice, terrible. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. What if I die? You're paying for my funeral, Chris! Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, we'll talk about Susie again, I guess. What happens... Um, wait, you definitely wouldn't know that. Huh? What was... Oh, can I ask something else about her? Well, did it seem like she, um... Wait, you definitely wouldn't know that. Huh, I'm curious. Um, Chris, are you feeling it alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong with <laughs> you? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure you appreciated it, but, um, gosh, I'm, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, um, I, you know... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Alright, fair enough. Aw, oh, Chris. Like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. <laughs> That's funny. Lil' Chrissy! Like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah! 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 Also, the the program is changed names to... Changes name to The Return. It's like different chapters of this, well, first chapter of Delta Room. Um, I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though. Your, your choice. Oh my god, Azriel, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. That was so much fun, Thomas and I. Oh, oh, Caddy. Um, we can talk about sister. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me. My playing is an anti-blessing from Planet L. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my little sis. Huh, that's not the reaction I probably would have had. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters too, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a Cat Pacino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copycater? Copysaurus? Copodile? I don't know, she sucks. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, neighbor baber. When's your brother Doug gonna come by, huh huh huh? My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. <laughs> He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Huh? <laughs> 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 
It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. It's pretty funny. Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up, did you want to talk about something? Sure, go, go away. <laughs> Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is, like, so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnut, girl. <laughs> like, for, like, your whole body. What an interesting dynamic. Aw, oh, that's the way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I, like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone and... Like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church, like, every single day that week. That's really funny. Alright, what's the, the last route? Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. <laughs> then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? <laughs> Seems a little desperate. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Oh my goodness! Naps of Luke! Naps of Luke! Aw, oh, man. Now, why do you prance on home? No one's home right now? Are you sure about that? Aw, I want to see Naps of Luke. Flower King, what is going on? This place is huge! This place is huge! Is this Asgore? Dum -de dum Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh my god, it's Asgore! Oh, Chris! Oh, such a warm hug! Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Wow, all these different flowers and... Oh man, I can't unsee... Oh, what's the, what's the plant's name? It's a golden flower, protected in a container. This also reminds me of all the different hearts. Wait, no! Taskbar, go away! It's a blue flower, protected in a container. There's a purple one, yada yada yada. What else do we have in here? It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. See photos, open fridge. Photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Aww. So cute, guys. So heartwarming. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. <laughs> There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. What about over here? It's a small TV. On top are some superhero comics. Ooh, I'm down. It's a door. It's locked. It's a dirty watering can. Various bags of soil. It's a note. It says, No rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. Aw. Asgore, too good of a guy. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Fitting. <laughs> Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could... Er, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Asgore. Too good. Too good. Presumably this... Oh, it puts him on the other side. Okay. Anything else of interest? It's a flower. Flowey. Flowey. That's what it was. That's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Of course, because Asgore's too good of a guy. Oh, Chris, before you go... Here. For your mother. Our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Aww. Have a great day, Chris. So cute. Flower King, how fitting. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. I, I guess I can see it. These guys! These guys! Oh my goodness. True. Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table? Absolutely. 
Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. <laughs> That's really funny. This is gonna be the same thing here. What's uh, this little bit of soil here? Can I do anything over there? No? Okay. So we've exhausted this end of the town. Let's check on the left side now, right? That's that. We can continue to go up. And I believe we finally made it home. It's your mom's van. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? Oh, this music is so heartwarming. So sweet. By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Do not eat it all this time. Chris, what is it, honey? Flowers! Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? <laughs> Look at that face! Look at that face! <laughs> er, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. <laughs> That's so cute. Hi, me, Azrael. Let's ask about Azrael. Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? Yo, good taste, good taste. When he was very little, he loved the Green Lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. The Green Lizard? King K. Rule was only just recently added. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as de decoration. Oh, Yoshi! Wow, I can't even believe. I was thinking, I mean, I think of him as a dinosaur, but. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. <laughs> your brother just kept crying. <laughs> Ever since he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Oh my goodness, the Dr. Seuss reference. That's hilarious. Let's ask about me. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon, you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in? So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it? Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? That's really cute. Did we find that in the first game? Let's ask about the pie. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Toriel, you are, you are so precious. There's the pie. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. The bathroom, I don't anticipate a lot being different there. I guess we'll head on up to our room and... Is this our room? No, I don't think so. Or no, it was. Then do we just go to go to sleep, I guess? Oh, I feel so sad. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yeah, I guess so. You decided to go to bed. What's going on in the middle of the night? Yeah, you all right there, Chris? Sleepwalking? You look possessed. Presumably sleepwalking. Hopefully nothing bad. What? What the heck? You just ripped out your soul! Huh? Threw it in the cage? And then a knife? What? The red eye and everything. I mean, that reminds me of Susie, but... What? When the light is running low And the shadows start to grow Wow, so I guess that's the end of Deltarune. Chapter 1. 
Wow, what an experience. A very short experience, but a very, very enjoyable one. What an ending. For the sake of the song and everything, I'll, I'll hold a lot of my thoughts till close to the end. I want to pay attention to the lyrics. I don't anticipate the song going on for too long either. To be continued in chapter two. I'm I'm absolutely looking forward to chapter two, as I'm sure you guys are too. I feel for once I'm actually kind of caught up on this sort of thing. And that's the end, I guess. All right, well, I'll throw something more appealing than my recording software on, on screen for you guys to look at while I share some of my thoughts. Overall, I really enjoy Deltarune. I've been raving throughout the entire playthrough thus far about the visuals, about the music, about the dialogue, about the characters, about the combat. All gets, you know, 10 out of 10 on my end. I think, I think what I'm most intrigued by is where the story is going, where this fits in with the story that Undertale set up, and what was going on at the end there. Chris was possessed and ripped out his own soul. And, uh threw it in a cage and then took out a knife, like ready to go on either a murderous rampage or, or something like that, right? I, I need to review, you know, what happened in the previous Undertale game to see if I can fit this into the story that's already been established, because otherwise I'm, I'm really left with a lot of questions, wondering what's going to happen and where does Chris fit in, right? Because I remember that in the first game there was Kara, or Kara, who I believe was um, siblings with Azriel and I, I feel like Chris is is Kara, but at the same time I feel like that's not not supposed to be the intent here. But it seems like this isn't just like a human stumbling down. Maybe this is like before Kara even stumbled down into the underground, right? Maybe this is a sibling, or maybe this is the first human that came around. That's right. There was a human before Kara, I think. Maybe. I'll have to review that, and I'm sure you guys will clarify when uh, you guys watch this and leave in the comments, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of discussion in HeroNet as well regarding it, so thanks you guys in advance for that, but yeah, absolutely enjoyed it. Thank you to the many of you who suggested this, and thank you to the patrons who voted for this as well, which is part of the uh, the motivation for doing this as early as I did uh, compared to certain other series that have been you know requested, but overall... Great, great experience. It's on the Switch and PS4 as well if you're interested. And I'm definitely looking forward to Chapter 2. But until Delta Rune Chapter 2, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.